Around about the time of the PlayStation 5's launch last year, Jim Ryan did an interview with The Telegraph, in which he said that he didn't think there would be a problem with the lack of storage on the PlayStation 5. And just to remind everybody, that lack of storage (laughs) is basically 825 gigs of internal SSD, of which 667 gig is available for use with PlayStation 5 games. And when asked about this, and when asked about people complaining about this, this is what Jim Ryan said. He said, we're not hearing that. I don't know where he was listening because I actually made a video complaining about it. So I was saying something and I know I'm a minnow, but lots of other people were moaning about it as well. But he wasn't hearing it. And he goes on to say, we will obviously watch what happens as people unbox their PlayStations and start to use them. We think we'll be okay. We obviously are able to monitor hard drive usage on the PlayStation 4 microscopically. And everything that we saw there indicates that we should be fine. But are they fine? Well, I would argue not. (laughs) Three months on and we still only have 825 gig, 667 gig of which is usable. And three months on, we still haven't seen any of the promised NVMe SSDs that we were supposed to have ratified and available for use with the PlayStation 5. And that's despite the fact that many of these drives, or at least some of these drives, are perfectly fast enough. You know, if we go back to October, I think October 9th, there's a story here in Essentially Sports. Don't really know the publication, but Essentially Sports, they were saying... Western Digital's new PCI 4 SSD provides a solution to PlayStation 5's expandable storage. And they were saying it's perfectly fast enough and can be used with the PlayStation 5. The same is true if we go to Amazon here. Uh, We've got the Samsung 980 Pro. That offers the same throughput as the Western Digital drive, 700 megabytes a second which is perfectly adequate for the PlayStation 5. And yet, and yet, these drives, the Western Digital and the Samsung, both perfectly capable, some of the fastest drives available currently, haven't been ratified for use with the PlayStation 5. (coughs) Excuse me, with the PlayStation 5. So what's going on? (laughs) And, you know, so, so we've got this situation where we've got limited space, And there's no solution seemingly on the horizon from Sony. I don't know, you know, whether all they're all sat there on their hands waiting for something to happen, but why are they not getting together with these companies and ratifying these drives for the PlayStation 5? Because that's not the only issue here there's still some problems with USB drives causing crashes and errors on the PlayStation 5. So although you can put PlayStation 4 backwards compatible games on an external drive and you can play them from an external USB drive, it it is causing some problems. And I actually made a video about this myself saying that if you're using an external USB drive, don't put your PlayStation into standby because I was finding every time I restarted the PlayStation from standby, it was telling me the USB drive had been disconnected. And there were other people having problems as well, down even to having crashes. And one guy I saw had his PlayStation 5 bricked, and I don't know how many people experienced that. I can't speak to that personally because it didn't happen to me. But I do know that I was and I still am having issues. So a a USB drive isn't entirely the solution, especially as you can't store PlayStation 5 games on an external USB drive either. You know, that you can have this external drive and use it for PlayStation 4 games, but you can't use it for PlayStation 5 games. And okay, look, you wouldn't expect necessarily to be able to play them off an external USB drive because of the the speed and the throughput necessary. But why not be able to store them and then just move them across as and when you need them? The Xbox can do that. 
and the Xbox also had storage from day one. Okay, it was proprietary, you know, those Seagate drives, and they were expensive and they were only one terabyte. But one terabyte's a lot bigger <laughs> than 825 gig, and uh, certainly a lot bigger than 667 gig, which is usable on the PlayStation. And that is added to what was already available on the Xbox, which was, again, <clears throat> excuse me, a terabyte. Okay, usable space was less than that, but it's there. So the Xbox had this storage from day one. The PlayStation hasn't had it. And the PlayStation has got more issues with, an ex with external drives than the Xbox as well. You know, because you can store Xbox Series X and Series S games on an external USB drive until needed. Unlike, as I've already said, on the PlayStation where you can't. Enhanced PS4 games can be played from an external USB drive on the PlayStation 5, though, which is quite useful. And you can do that on the Xbox. You can play backwards compatible games on the Xbox. But if you want to play the enhanced versions, they do have to be moved across. So it's kind of swings and roundabouts there, you know, because it, it does seem on the surface that that's an advantage for the PlayStation 5. You can put PlayStation 4 games on an external drive and they can be enhanced and then they can play from the external USB drive, whereas the Xbox, obviously, the enhanced versions, you can't. But the PlayStation 5's enhanced games have a smaller footprint than the Xbox Series X enhanced games. And <laughs> that's basically because the games on the Xbox are having more done to them. You know, they're, they're, <laughs> they're having in, in, improved assets and all the rest of it. The enhanced on the Xbox means a lot more than enhanced on the PlayStation 5. So, as I say, it swings and roundabouts. <laughs> the games still run better, though. And one of the, you know, on the Xbox, I mean, some of the games, if you have a, a PlayStation, sorry, if you have an Xbox backwards compatible game on a, an external USB drive on the Xbox, those games will still run better. And things like Smart Resume will still work, even though it's running off an external USB drive. So while you're not getting the enhanced for Xbox Series X, if you're running it off an external USB drive, some of those enhancements are actually there, like I say, like Smart Resume. So the only real advantage, as I say, for the PlayStation 5 is the fact that the games are taking up less space in their enhanced form. And that's because they're not as enhanced. They're, you know, tweaked a little bit for the PlayStation 5. So, <laughs> in effect, you know, there are some decent workarounds for the PlayStation 5. You can store PlayStation 4 games on an external USB drive and so on and so forth. But they are just that, workarounds we still have this limited space. And, I, you know, I have to wonder, as I was saying before, what the problem is. You know, are Sony having issues getting these NVMe drives to work properly with the PlayStation 5? One of the issues I thought about was maybe that the NVMe drives are causing too much heat. So perhaps the, the PlayStation 5's ability to dissipate that heat when they get the extra heat from the NVMe drives, because they do run hot, or at least they can run hot, maybe it's having problems dissipating that extra heat. I honestly don't know, but that could be a problem. Or maybe the current crop of drives actually aren't fast enough. Uh, you know, but, but as I said before, when you look at the Western Digital Black and the Samsung 980 Pro, their throughput is, is phenomenal. Seven gigabytes per second. That should be plenty. Whatever it is, though, Sony need to <laughs> pull their finger out because Jim Ryan's wrong. The PlayStation 5's lack of storage is an issue, just like the Switch's lack of storage is an issue. You know, it's all very well keep moving games in and out of storage, but when you're having to download them, if you've got bandwidth caps, this is a big problem. And the more native PS5 games that appear, 
well, the more this issue is going to rear its head. So, yeah, look, you know, there are workarounds that, you know, you can use a USB drive and, OK, you might want to fiddle around and try and get that to work properly. And I never put my PlayStation 5 in standby. So it's, it's, a, well, it's a bit of a half-assed solution, really, with the PlayStation 5. We need NVMe SSDs to be ratified and we need it to happen soon because people are running out of space and external USB drives just don't cut it, even when they do work. So, yeah, I think this needs to be addressed. It needs to be sorted out. I don't know what Sony are doing, but they need to do something quickly and get it sorted because this is ridiculous. We need the external drives. They were promised. They're not here. But anyway, look, that's what I think. You guys might think completely differently. You might think it's not a problem. And if you do, let me know in the comments. And do you think the way PlayStation are doing this is better than Xbox? Or do you think the way Xbox are handling it is better than PlayStation? I mean, I do know that, okay, look, you have to have uh, backwards compatible games that are enhanced for Xbox have to be run off the internal drive or the proprietary Samsung drive, sorry, the proprietary Seagate drive. But at least we've got that storage. <laughs> you know, Microsoft has storage out there ready to go. So anyway, look, like I say, let me know what you think in the comments. You might agree with me. You might disagree with me. Let's get into it there. Or come over to my Discord and we can talk about it in the Discord as well. Um, you know, it's a small Discord. There's only a few people in there. Uh, if you're going to come in and have a chat, then, you know, you're going to get listened to. You're going to get heard. So, uh, yeah, come across there as well. And the link to that is in the description. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea because um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear, but my voice is going. I've had a lot of problems with my voice over the last couple of weeks. Hence, I haven't made many videos. But anyway, I'm done. I've been wittering on long enough. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.